when you are winning, you are winning. Eh? Oh, Nigeria, I know they carry last. I can't tower. Yeah, ooh, I can't tower. Yeah, ooh, I can't tower. <laughs> oh, what well, is they sweet me? It is a sweet me. I don't know about you. I mean, coming from where Nigeria is coming from and all the negative things, all the criticism as people see the country finish. Foreigners see the country finish. South Africa see the country finish. Ghana see the country finish. Everybody see Nigeria finish. Hano will take glad when I see the country. They do extremely well. Hmm? Winning against enemies. <laughs> enemies of progress. Well, now they. Hmm? Especially countries like this, South Africa, for their mind, eh? You know, South Africans on their mind, eh? The good things in Africa only exist in South Africa. I see their videos. I see when you hear me talking the way I do, it's because I see the videos that South Africans are constantly making on social media. Do you know that one they are doing now, eh? The one they are doing now is they will go around in, in townships, they will go around in cities and chase away foreigners who are hogging. You know, trying to sell shoes, trying to sell clothes, trying to have small shops, you know, in some particular areas of the city, like markets. They will chase them out and say they cannot come and do that in their country, South Africa. Yeah, and the only reason they are doing this is because in back home in their countries, the rest of Africa is a jungle. The rest of Africa is a lawless place. The rest of Africa, other African countries, they don't get sense. They know they live well. They don't get laws. They just, they useless. You understand? So I saw those videos. I was really, really embarrassed. I was so embarrassed. That's how South Africans think of other African countries. You know, they have that same mindset of America has towards Africa. That's how they have. So me, I know they joke with opportunity to remind them and remind the rest of the world that Nigeria is still the leading country in the continent. That Nigeria is still the giant of Africa. It's not just the World Cup. Forget about football. Hmm? Keep the football aside. Yes, you people have done a little better than Nigeria this time around in football. That doesn't even mean that you have a better football team than Nigeria. That doesn't even mean you are a better football country than Nigeria. So some of you will carry it on your head. And use everything because of football. You think South Africa is a great country than Nigeria. Now lie. Today I want to discuss tech. Because Nigeria is becoming somebody else in the tech world. Nigeria is becoming the tech giant of the world. I'm telling you. Nigeria is becoming the technology giant of the universe. If you think I'm joking, watch this video. You will be overwhelmed. You will be marveled. European countries, they beg. European countries, they beg. Nigeria. They are coming to Nigeria like, they are flowing to Nigeria like water. Eh? Joy overflow. That's how they are flowing to negotiate contract deals because they are seeing the future. Did I not tell you of a young Nigerian that just met one CEO, a uh, host guy in, in America? And before you know, the guy developed an incredible app that is becoming a solution to all youth in America and Europe to find jobs. Did I not tell you? And before you know, before you know, Tesla was rushing that guy to come and work with them. Dell was rushing that guy to come and work with them. He refused. Imagine how many of those boys are in Nigeria. Now I want to ask you, before you think that they describe Lagos, Nigeria as the fastest growing technology country in the world, you think Nigeria went and bribed them? No, you think Nigeria went and bribed the tech community in the world to say, name Nigeria as the fastest growing tech community. Name Lagos as the best tech city in the world. Nigeria went and bribed them. No, it's because doings day Nigeria. You understand? It's because doings day Nigeria. As I'm talking to you now, Nigeria is developing a company. America is working with Nigeria and developing a company in Nigeria where all the chips, you see, I know you've never opened your phone or a radio or a TV. All those chips that are inside the phone, that act like the brain of the phone, those chips hmm, that carry all those small, small sensory, that memory, information, everything. Nigeria now is the center of a building and, you know, they want to be arranging those things in Nigeria. They want to, the tech, the tech behind that thing is the reason why anything tech is functioning. Your phone, your laptop, your computer, everything. Lagos, Nigeria is becoming the center of that particular, you know, stuff 
that are doing it in Lagos. Not just doing it, controlling it, how it will be working in the whole world. It's a company in Lagos, Nigeria now, from America, that is working with Nigerians on that. Don't play. Because when you're learning, you're going to be learning the hard way, very, very hard. So I want to share with you guys a few instances so that you will not know, think that I'm just coming here to talk. I'm not coming here to make mouth. No, I want to show you facts, fact to fact, so that you will realize that Nigeria is truly not at Africa's level anymore. Nigeria is not at South Africa's level anymore. Nigeria is a global country now. Global to the point where Nigeria can rival China in tech. Nigeria can rival America in tech. Nigeria can rival anybody. And I'm talking about software, artificial intelligence, all sort of tech, all sort of technology. Nigeria is on the map, the global map. And that's why everybody wants to partner with Nigeria. South Africa is nowhere close. Hello, South Africans. You guys are nowhere close. Even Uganda is becoming a better tech country than South Africa. I'm saying this to those South Africans who think that their country is everything in Africa. Even Uganda is becoming... I'm telling you, there are many African countries that are far better than South Africa. I've always said that, see, the poorest black people in Africa is black South Africans. The most uneducated black people in Africa now, then, the highest people who don't know anything about this Africa, don't know anything about life now, black South Africa, they don't know anything, they are mumu too much. If they carry their mumu puts for buckets, eh, it go, it go full like 100 buckets. That's how big their mumu reach. But Nigeria is proving them wrong. Nigeria is teaching them a lesson. You get the point? Now look at what's going on here. Look at what is going on here. Let me shock you. Do you know that the France government, France government, yes, they have just signed a partnership deal with Nigeria to equip tech facilities across Nigeria and using Nigeria as, you know, the gateway to build a tech relationship with Africa. Yes. The French government is working with Nigeria to conquer Africa with tech. They want to partner with Nigeria so that they can now buy tech equipments, give to these Nigerians who are so intelligent. Because they have discovered that these Nigerians, eh, not be all of them will go to UK, not be all of them will go to Canada, not be all of them will go to America, not be all of them will go to... They have discovered that they better start finding a way to work with the Nigerians who are in Nigeria. And that's why France government is making sure that it's part of this collaboration. So the forum was in Nigeria and they had an initiative, you understand, to fund and organize mass, uh, massive tech programs, you understand, and prepare Nigerians to colonize and take over African countries with technology. I don't know if France go one benefit for this one, but I don't trust them because they will have their own reasons behind. So I know say Nigerians go they careful with this one. But the shocking part is also the fact that Denmark, yes, Denmark, you know Denmark, right? So Denmark just sealed a memorandum of union. I don't know how they call it, MOU. Memorandum of understanding. Those of you who do management and stuff like this, to boost digitalization and AI development in Nigeria digitalization and ai development so nigeria and denmark have sealed at that mou to expand digital infrastructure innovation tech talent growth backed by denmark's 12 million euros commitment they are bringing 12 million euros to come and help nigerians so that they will grow in tech they will become more powerful they will have more influence across africa across the world in technology. So Nigeria and Denmark, that's where they are moving at right now. They are deepening their collaborations, deepening their partnership, trying to make sure that the two countries work together. And of course, it's all about Denmark trying to identify itself with Nigeria since they have discovered that Nigeria is the future of technology. Nigeria is the future of AI. Nigeria will dominate the global planet when it comes to technology and AI. 
people are not ready for this and they better be ready because it's coming and it's coming soon it is what it is your boy Juma joining us again smash the like button smash the notification bell come back anytime you're free because there's always more beautiful and amazing videos just for you god bless you cheese